Hey everybody and welcome to part 2 of Crash Bandicoot the Huge Adventure, I'm Nostalgia Scott. So, you know what, let's do the unique level to this uh, game, Rocket Racket. Also, Crash 2 for the Game Boy Advance also tells you how to do like special levels like this, this one you don't. Uh, you have to push A, also there's 37 floating boxes, you can hit the balloon or the crate, crate destroys it instantly. Otherwise, yeah. So, this is kind of a throwback to the Crash and Coco, well, I guess Crash flying levels in Crash 3, but also the um, Coco flying levels in the uh, in Wrath of Cortex. I was gonna say in the PS2 version, but then again, like I had the PS2 version and the GameCube version, so. And all you have to do is aim at the blimp's uh, Cortex face. Also, that's a mean checkpoint to have enemies. Also, you can push L and R to barrel roll in said direction. Oh lord. Whew. I don't even know if I'm if I'm missing the ones that I hit the balloon of or not. God, these enemies are relentless. Also, flying skull bombs instead of in the water levels. Like, you guys have seen my LP of Crash 3, I'm sure. It's my biggest hit on this channel. Like, it was bringing in 80 plus views a video, and it's like, this channel has 36 subscribers. Like, I don't know what I did. I checked the uh, tags, and there was nothing special about the one video that blew up. Nothing at all. It was just called Future Relic Hunter. I think it was like part 12 or 13, and yeah. I believe to get the added effect of the crate, you actually have to hit the crate. Yeah, but watch out for those nitros. They can be dangerous, obviously. They blow us up. We all know that if we've played Crash before. I know the graphics in this game aren't the best, but it is a good game. Bing. 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 Oh great, bombs and crates. Oh no, 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 don't tell me I missed one. Oh god, Jesus, this is this is not friendly. I believe those are boosts, and they also give you Wumper Fruit, I think. Yeah, they give you a little bit of Wumper Fruit. One Wumper Fruit? No, I think it's five. Yeah, it's five. I'm trying not to speed too fast, just in case. Yes. I knew there was still a crate. Yeah, and unlike other games that you get the gem right away, this game you don't get the gem right away. Also, you have to be a certain distance away from it to actually be able to destroy it. Like the blimps. I believe there are three blimp levels in this game, and there's only four worlds, so yeah, you guys know what's gonna happen. There's gonna be one in each world after this. Also, Engine is the second boss, is really weird. He's normally a mid level difficulty boss. And we did it! Ah, now let me answer a text. Since I didn't actually have one at the beginning of the video, which is really rare. Anyways, uh, I want to leave the double gem one for a bit, so let's go to just hanging. Now this one, I know for a fact, 150% that we cannot beat this level. So I think my controller only has issues when I'm playing SNES for some reason. So yeah, you can just bum rush this level, you can't actually get 100% here. So don't, don't even bother. Also we got these. The climbing uh, grates. They're a lot better than they were in Wrath of Cortex. Uh, they kept the Crash 3 one, but then again, I believe it is a different company that made this game compared to Wrath of Cortex, I think. I don't think it was Vivendi Universal. I know Vivendi Universal made the remakes as well as Activision, but then again, Activision always had say in it. Also, you need Super Body Slam to break those. Those never show up until after you get it, so there's no saying whether you need the Super Body Slam or not, but we all just assume we do. Like, see, this level is a lot to it. Oh, why did I spin into Spiky Spiker? Oh, yeah. Have the enemy off screen do that. Also, I do. I do want that one up, even if, like. It slows things down from speedrunning. I do like that. Because then we can come back and get it again later. Also, this enemy is a little bit of a biatch to avoid due to the fact that he barely gets out of the way. Also, the fact that you need to hop on this and then go here to get around that enemy is extremely annoying. Also, I believe we're still fairly early in the level, right? 
Like, to have the Nitro switch so early before, like, the second half of the level is pretty odd. Unique, but odd. Also, if you time that right, you can slide into the rat and kill it, so... It's not that much of a ratty tat tat or threat. Rat Tatooie! Let's make Rat Tatooie out of the rat, even though Rat Tatooie is a vegetarian dish. I believe. I believe there's no meat or dairy in it, is there? I believe it's just vegetables. There might be some kind of sauce, but then again, sauce can also be made from vegetables. But yeah, you need the green gem to get over there, and then you need to, like, long jump over there, too. Ah, apparently my girlfriend's fine at work. Also, we've only been recording five minutes, which isn't bad. But anyways, I guess we'll go do Snow Crash. I believe you need another gem for this one as well. Trying to do the levels in a little different order so you don't get sick of levels too close together if you guys are binge watching this. I know Tju22 likes to binge watch my videos on Solar Warlock, though Solar Warlock is being turned into a World of Warcraft channel. Darn it, you need the blue one. Also, that is BS, because there's nothing I could do about that penguin anymore. Also, that was bad. Also, wh what? What? Okay, okay, there is a uh, major flaw in that game. Or in this game, not that game, this game that we are currently playing. I'm just gonna speedrun this level now because we can't get 100% here, I do believe. But you guys seen that, right? I fell through the floor twice. I did the exact same thing multiple times to see if that was the cause, and it was. Also, Polar Bear Express. We got the Polar Bear Express. Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it, all down to Susie. Oh yeah, that's what I get for holding down B. Take things cautiously, good Solar War- Wait, I'm not Solar Warlock. It's my World of Warcraft channel. I'm Nostalgia Scott, the LP Master. Whoa, double Wungaga? Okay, I know his name's Aku Aku, but I love how he says Wungaga. Also, is this even a challenge anymore? Most of that was just me doing the exact same thing. Also, the first level had way more boxes, and you could actually get them all, so I'm still surprised that there are so few here. We only need 50, and I know I missed a lot back there. So maybe we are able to get all the boxes. Oh, grab those for me. Thank you. 47 out of 92. I knew that was going to be a checkpoint, so I did that. All that. Now, I want to just see now if I can actually get 100% on everything. Actually, no, I believe that bonus is a pain in the butt. Uh, but I really don't like to try and get 100% if I know I might not be able to. Just simply because, like, if we come back with a later gem, then we'll be guaranteed to get 100%. Yeah, I don't actually know if we were able to or not. It's hard to tell. Anyway. Shark Attack! A level we can actually get 100% on. Also, I haven't saved this game in, like, the entirety of the time of this recording. I think I'll do that before we take on the boss, or maybe after this level, I'm not sure. Also, 26 boxes. There's even less than the first one. I feel like this world is faster paced than the first. Only 9 minutes in and we're almost done this world. The second last level than the boss fight. I know the boss fight, I believe, takes a little while to beat. But it's not that difficult of a boss, especially not in this game. Also, jellyfish are invincible, so do not hit them. They will electrocute you, and I believe there's like never anything underneath them. Yeah, see, this level's more of just an obstacle course, but even then, I feel like it's easier than the original, the first level. Uh, what was it? Ship shipwrecked, sunken, sunken city, something like that. I don't know. Something water-related. Oh. Three of the crates that were missing happen to be Nitro. That is particular checkpoint already. We just got one back there. God, man. And then I've been playing Mr. Nuts, which does not have 
checkpoints at all, and this game has an overabundancy of checkpoints. Also, I only need two. I thought I took damage there because of the weird bubble effect, but no. Also, can I have that? Thank you. Lost so many lives just doing stupid things like falling through the floor. Why was this called Shark Attack? I didn't find there were more sharks in this level than the other level. Oh, hang on. My girlfriend wants to ask if uh, I want to get the food shopping done tonight. Which is possible, yes. So anyways, let's go do Ruin, which has the food gem. Now, I can't remember if this is the level where we're going to need the Death Tornado Spin and the Double Jump, but it actually might be. Although I do believe you can get 100% on the level. Oh, I mean, not like 100%, but get the clear gem. I would say 100%, I gotta remember it's just the clear gem that we can get. Also, having this as like, ooh. As the uh, final level of a world is kinda interesting. But then again, wasn't world 1 also this, or was world 1 the sewer? I believe there's 3 of each level, so we're gonna get one more sewer level, I believe. This is the final jungle level. I think back on Solar Warlock when I did LPs, I, when I did this game, I believe I called the first episode Jungle Jam, and I have no idea why. I guess because there's two jungle levels in World 1, but it's not a good enough reason, man. Be more creative. Also, I got a verp. Also, push down. Do not push the duck button, which is R, because you're on a moving platform, so that counts as you moving yourself, which... It's very questionable in the world of gaming, but yeah. Also, our first bout of invincibility, and it's in a spot where we have to wait. Also, it doesn't make the cool smashing sound effect when you touch the Wumpa Fruit. Wow, this is a uh, very exciting invincibility part. Also, there's this. Wow, that came in handy for one bird! And no, I'm not going to say burb, like B-I-R-B, I'm going to say bird, with a D. Boom. And I feel like we're missing so much. I'm going to have a text message, so it's kind of driving me nuts, so I get paranoid and speed things up, but then I'm like, you know what, no. My girlfriend can wait two seconds while I record a beautiful video game for you guys. Don't, don't actually say that to your girlfriend's face, guys. She will kill you. So, platform. I got a really itchy nose from all the smoke lately. Yeah, because I believe going up here what happens is you need to then hop on that and then jump over to the left and fly using your spin. But hang on, let me do this, answer this text right here. My girlfriend says it's not up to me to, or not up to her to always pick if we do grocery shopping today or when. To me it honestly doesn't matter, I was kinda hoping for a movie or like eating out over... Darn it. Yeah, I didn't mean to actually body slam, I meant to high jump, but it was too late and I was already in the air, so... Yeah, this level's a bit of a troll. Also, I found in the sequel of this game that the bonuses are a little easier to deal with. You don't have to do stupid stuff like that. Like, the fact that you don't have double jump and stuff yet makes some of these segments a little annoying. Then again, I guess not every level is intended to do everything in right away. Also, I believe this is the part where the slide jumping actually comes in handy. Yeah, it is, yeah. Oh, I'm like, that better not that better not kill me by blowing up. I would be so salty after that. Saltier than a saltine. They're actually not really that salty, to be honest with you. They don't like leave salt on your tongue or anything like that, like McDonald's fries or anything. I'm not I'm not dissing McDonald's fries, by the way. I really do like them. Not my favorite fries in the world, but I do like them. Do 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 This is my favorite song ever. Not really, but it just gets stuck in my head so easily. So one box? One box? I demand to be found, box. I demand it to be found. 
I have to man- oh. It's one random nitro. This looks like an annoying level to speed run due to the fact that you have to wait most of the time. Also, I got a text message again, which now I can answer. Because now we only have to take on the boss. Do 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 do. Let's take on Engine, the air boss. Only oh, only has four health. So all you have to do is shoot him in where it's flashing. So I highly recommend take out the bottom gun because it's gonna be the most annoying. Also, you won't get health in this, like the blimp level. So there we go. These ones are a little easier to destroy and due to the fact that they also don't move. Destroy! Alright, now the top one can be annoying because it drops out. Apparently skull bombs, not what I was expecting. I was expecting like homing bombs or something. Also, 60% health is pretty low for me in a crash game. Alright, it survived. Oh, it's open again. I don't know, I never do the barrel rolls very often because I feel like they're very, very delayed and choppy. Right, now this is going to be easy because we can literally just stand in front of, or I guess fly in front of it. Dude, that's not doing anything. It's making it very annoying to actually hit you. But you know the inevitable because this weapon is not even going to do an ounce damage to me. And there we go. That was it! Easiest engine fight in existence. Double jump! Press A in midair to jump higher. Press start to continue. Okay. <clears throat> Great job, Crash! I have half the crystals! Now bring me the rest of them so I can finish my machine! But be careful! Cortex is watching you! So, in the next episode we'll be doing this world with Tiny Tiger. So the levels are Snow Job. The last snowy level, Ace of Space, the first space level, Sunken City, I believe the last water level. Da oh, never mind, maybe it's not three. Down the hole, another jungle, and Blimp Bonanza, another Blimp. Also, let's see how much percent we have. 27? That's it. Anyways, see you guys next time. Bye bye.